Rewiring the meaning. Understanding, rewire. Hello everyone. Today, we're going to delve deep into the world of English phrases, and we'll unravel the meaning behind the term, rewire. By the end of this video, you should be able to not only understand but also use this term with confidence. Rewire originally comes from the combination of re, which means again or anew, and wire. In the most literal sense, to rewire means to replace electrical wires or systems. Think of it like redoing the electrical setup of a house or a device. Example, the old building needs to be rewired to meet the current safety standards. More often, you might hear, rewire, being used in a metaphorical or figurative way. When used figuratively, it's referring to the idea of changing the way one thinks or behaves. For example, if someone says, I need to rewire my brain to think positively, they are expressing a desire to change their thought patterns or habits. This figurative sense of the term can apply to various contexts, from personal growth to adopting new learning strategies. Examples, after years of procrastination, he decided to rewire his habits and became more productive. Learning a new language can rewire the way you think about the world. Like many English phrases, rewire has found its way into casual conversations and popular culture. Here are some common ways you might encounter or use the term. 1. Brain plasticity. Scientists often talk about the brain's ability to rewire itself, meaning it can adapt and change over time. This phenomenon is also referred to as neuroplasticity. 2. Self-help and personal growth. You might come across books or seminars that promise to help you rewire your mindset or thinking patterns for better success or happiness. 3. Tech and innovation. In the world of technology, to rewire can mean revamping or overhauling a system for better efficiency or performance. So, there you have it. Rewire isn't just about electrical systems, it's a versatile term that can be used in various contexts, both literally and figuratively. The next time you come across this term, you'll know precisely what it means. We hope this explanation has shed some light on this intriguing phrase. Remember, the beauty of the English language lies in its vastness and flexibility. Keep exploring, keep learning, and we'll see you in the next video.